quite often partners aren't used to working with other people and it's, it's, there's a learning curve for them. Don't underestimate the work that's involved in, in setting up a successful partnership. It won't happen overnight and you need to stick with it and, and really push that through. Uh, for me, I think it's really important that you take the time to make sure that the partners own the strategy or own the local action plan because if you take the time and they actually feel a part of it, it's more likely that they'll they'll stay involved and they'll keep coming to the meetings and, and make things happen. If you sit on your own and write the action plan, they won't feel a part of it and, and they won't want to get involved. Uh, I think have fun uh, and make the meetings interesting, so don't uh, you always come and sit in, uh, in meeting rooms and things, try and get out and see different things, meet young people, you know, you have a bit of fun while you're doing it. Uh, and finally, try and achieve some, some quick wins to show that the partnership works and try and find some things that you can make happen very, very quickly so that the partners can see that they're actually going to get something out of the meeting. The leading role is given to the city. We are the ones that we have to prepare the agendas of the meeting. If you want to have um, um, some expertise being there and uh, sharing their experiences from other cities, it's us that we, that we invite them and we, we also pay for those costs. But this, this leading role, it's very important and I think it should be given to the, to the city. Um, this way of working, it really represents a change in the mindset of people, uh, and that's that's very that's very tricky. It's not easy. Uh, sometimes you know the right partner. You know that it's very important to take a deep role in this project. But if you don't have the right person, if you, if if the mindset of that person doesn't change, um, as you mentioned, I think it's very important if you can present some results in order to have a bigger engagement from from partners. Um, and the truth is that I believe that in our local situation we are now in the right path because we're having some, some of these results and so other partners get even more, more involved. And, uh, so I really don't find any solution. We, are, we talk about uh, uh, youth unemployment but as a marginal thing. So is that uh, the decision about uh, youth um, uh, employment and youth employment are divided by uh, competence from several different uh, um, institutions and at the local level the municipality has no real uh, power you can give some palliative actions and contributions some uh, some sporadic some marginal actions which are possible uh, way is to strengthen the, the relationship with the, as we try the regional and uh, provincial uh, institutions everyone uh, Still now tends to work in, in silos, so in co compartmental, so we have to cooperate on this argument. And another obstacle can be the risk, uh, represented by the risk of an excessive, uh, um, sorry for this term, political, politicization. So we want to avoid that this thing is treated too much in a political way. It, it became a battle between a political part and the counterpart. How? Oh, maybe. Uh, trying to give solution, uh, to give decision in a technical way, to give technical tools. When we, when we try to produce uh, our um, learning uh, knowledge uh, instruments, try to be technical, uh, neutral, uh, neut neutral, so some way that that could not be a, a political, excessive political way, not to, not, not to win left wing, not to right wing. So, so. We think that it may be important to focus on specific things. <coughs> so avoid to have big plans about generic talks. Focus <laughs> on themes. So concentrate, involve only the one who are really interested with the thing. And take responsibility and give responsibilities. We are now, for example, developing uh, with the job center in Gondmar the promotion of educational and training programs, new training programs concerning recycling, because we have a huge company in Gondomar that needs workers in the several um, activities related with sustainability, recycling. We are trying to create the first incubator uh, in Gondomar. We don't have any incubator, and this kind of incubator is very related with um, a school that is related with uh, the industry of gold. And where we are now also implementing with um, the collaboration of the job center and the, 
the Jacques Delors uh, Center in Portugal to create um, an office to support entrepreneurship, to support self-employment and all issues related with uh, European issues. It's some kind of uh, Europe direct center, mm -hmm. but with more competences. We are also helping uh, lots of institutions that belong to our local support group in getting some uh, proposals to lifelong learning program. Uh, Leonardo, uh, that we already talked, Grunvi, um, and also other programs related, we are already talking in progress and uh, local, local uh, opportunities that we have. Okay, you can participate in this kind of, uh, of project, but we also help you to find uh, new opportunities to develop. We have lots of experience in the, the lifelong learning program. We don't have uh, this is our first time in urban pro projects, but in other um, European projects we have uh, lots of experience. But nothing spe specific on your employment. The competition between members on their own institution, and so it more or less works. But the more the elected representative uh, insists on the importance of the uh, cooperative, mm -hmm. the, the more it works. The elected representative should really uh, and have a strong uh, word. So maybe uh, there is a really strong need to, to create or to, to divide some some kind of body, I don't know, maybe a unit, maybe we should be responsible for the managing of this cooperation. And also the, the, the stakeholders, the authorities should see the need to, for the, that kind of cooperation. And don't be afraid of uh, talking about our afraid, our doubts, because no one would um, score anybody. We are here to help each other, yes? Good. But I think there is a need to involve uh, enterprises, young people, uh, trainers in this kind of process because sometimes uh, people and uh, stakeholders feel that this process is too much political. The stakeholder needs to feel that it's a really participative process. A lot of people, a lot of stakeholders, but we uh, develop a ultra direct process and people don't feel the, that they are participating or they, or they are defining something new. I think it's the more important. We are experienced in another area that are uh, participative budgets with association of uh, neighborhood and the experience is very good because there are a real participation. I think uh, the scheme is good for this. Um, the, the area is different but I think that the scheme is very similar because people want have uh, things to say and have things to uh, want to participate in this, this kind of process. We think that uh, in Mancaro, there are a lack of awareness uh, for the corporation and uh, we find um, um, it is difficult to find the best solution. I mean, we have a number of different boards, meetings that come together. We do have a youth employment board. Um, we have representation from our local colleges, from schools people, voluntary sector partners, our local job centre. Um, so the people are there, but trying to engage them and think creatively and, and collectively about working together, that's the hard bit. And I think that's what Urbat will, the job town, will help us to do better. Um, because this is a good vehicle, it reports up to a local strategic partnership where we have college principals, our chief executive you know, senior players in our local area. So that's it's a, hopefully a good vehicle to do that. Um, we're recently uh, uh, setting up a service level agreement with our job centre. And that's, the job centre is a government agency, as uh, Tim said, um, because youth unemployment is a big problem. We're all agreed, our local politicians, our local... Uh, job centre, youth unemployment is a big problem, so we need to tackle it together. So we're setting a very aspirational uh, service level agreement to say over the next 12 months we will address youth unemployment and bring it down to a particular level. So we're setting this target that 
We're all signing it, senior people signing to say that that's what we're going to do and we will monitor our performance on this service level agreement. So I think that's a good step forward um, to see how we do that. Um, data sharing is a problem and we're trying to address that because some of the data sharing issues are set at government level. So I'm sure you all have that problem. Competition for limited resources, we've talked about, that's a big obstacle. Um, I think some kind of closer recognition of each partner's niche is an important one. Because we have partners that work with people, young people with disabilities, uh, young people with, I don't know, autism, uh, young people from very chaotic families. So I think that we have a number of agencies, but they each have a very particular niche. So I think recognising them and playing to their strengths is another feature. I think some kind of uniform communication strategy is really important to get the same message, simple, clear message that everybody signs up to, using the appropriate media. Um, make it clear what the benefits are going to be from the outset, what we're going to do, what are the tangible results, and I think the quick win thing can't be repeated enough, that's very important. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Now that we have a lot of actors that which are very active in uh, youth employment, the chambers of commerce, the, the handcraft chambers, also some NGOs and public services, and also the city. But they don't. The actors they know each other, but they they don't know about the project, mm -hmm. and that is one of the most obstacles. And I think that. Job Town is a really good project to give them the choice to network, to get an overview and um, to use resources in a more efficient way. They are effective, but they are not efficiently. And um, my advice is be strong, have uh, a lot of patience, yeah? <laughs> and don't forget to be enthusiastic for and uh, motivate this. As I s have seen here, the fundament is already established in every town here. There are a lot of stones around us and I think we should start to build the house and get them the roof with the job town project. Yeah. Uh, so we have a formal agenda with you know things coming up, things that are happening locally. Um, but they're minuted with actions that particular people around the table are, are tasked to, to go away and develop a programme around whatever. Or, because also um, part of the role of that board is to be aware and proactive of funding opportunities. Mm -hmm. For example, in the UK at the moment, we've got something like 40 or 50 government and other schemes which are focusing on young people. So it's crazy trying to coordinate everything. There's a new thing coming out all the time. So we have to try and keep track of that and get people to go away and say, let's look at youth enterprise, let's look at young people with disabilities, let's look at whatever. So, so it's quite a formal structure, but it has to be, um, has to be aware of current initiatives that are going on in order to set the, set the agenda. It's usually an hour, two hours. Okay. But uh, that, that formal group, it, it's, uh, it's about its technicians, its expertise, its people from different institutions. Yes, it is. Then on the upper level that you mentioned in the beginning, the... The e Employment and Enterprise Board, yes. Who, who is there? College principals, the chief executive of the voluntary sector. We have um, our lead member for business and economic regeneration. So I think having 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 somebody appointing champions. Um, I mean, we have issues like around child poverty. Um, so we we appoint a champion. Somebody will champion child poverty and how unemployment affects children. We have, um, in another part of the council, we have a food strategy and we look at how childhood obesity, uh, child, people, 
women, uh, girls having teenage pregnancy, all those issues. And we have different people to take on different themes and take that away to their di respective departments and organisations and then feed back and they're given tasks and responsibilities. So, you know, if they're reporting at a senior level, then it, it puts an onus on them yeah. to actually do the work. Would it, be, would it be possible for you to share with us then who are the people in those two yeah. words? Okay, sure. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Well, if you have that problem in Germany, imagine us. <laughs> <laughs>